Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's me again, Stefan Goldberg, and yes, this video I wanted to do before the end of 2015, and yes, 2015 has surely been a fantastic, fucking amazing year. It like blew my mind. It was fantastic for all the concerts I've been to, for all the interviews I've done, for all the friends I've made, and for all the events I've ever been to. I want to start out with thanking everyone who I interviewed. Yes, thank you very much, Aficionados Chris. Thank you very much, Alex Davidson from Bernie's NYC, PonyCon. And thank you very much, my good friend, Grayson Adams, also known as, ah, cheesy noodles. And um, also thank you very much, Little Shy F.I.M. And thank you very much, Tootsie Roll 2. Thank you very much, guys, for being my interviews for 2015. Yep, aficionados Chris, Alex Davidson, Cheesy Noodles, Grayson Adams, Little Shy F.I.M., and Tootsie Roll 2. Five people, one year. Did it get it? 2015? 15? Five people? So yeah, <laughs> that's amazing. I gotta say, really, and thank you everyone for my friends. I thank you very much, Lawrence and Ray, Lawrence Lorenzo from Royal Dude Lorenzo, and also Ray from The Fun Channel, also known as Meatloaf Man. And if you guys do not know who they are, both of them, please subscribe to their channel. They're fantastic. They are totally worth watching. Go to their channel. Like, for instance, pause this video, open up a new link, and go to their channel and subscribe to them. They are fantastic, fantastic YouTubers. Their names are Royal Dude Lorenzo for Lawrence Lorenzo. And two, Ray Lorenzo. If I'm saying his name right, I don't know if I forget his last name, though, but whatever. Um, oh, no, Ray Nunez. Sorry, I got his last name wrong. I just remembered it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, also known as Meatloaf Man, the fun channel go on his channel and subscribe to because both of them are just great and fantastic friends of mine. They are fantastic. They are metal. They are awesome. And they make fantastic videos. Please go subscribe to them. And also, thank you very much also Tootsie Roll 2. I interviewed him on my YouTube channel this year as you guys know. Please go onto his YouTube channel and subscribe to him. He is a fantastic YouTuber. My, I am a good fan of his YouTube channel. I love his YouTube channel. I think he made fantastic videos. He is great with what he does. He knows what he's doing. Six Days of Holiday Horses. That was fantastic for what he did on like during the Christmas year. That was fantastic. I loved all six of those videos. And uh, please subscribe to him. Like please, like guys, help him out. Come on, subscribe to his channel as well. And also, like, um, please thank you very much. Also, little shy F I M. Thank you very much for letting me talk to you too, as well as you too, Tootsie Roll. Too. Thank you very much for letting you guys have a chance to actually have a chance to talk to me on your my YouTube channel. Cause I really appreciate everything that you did. I really do. Thank you very much for taking the time to actually for me to interview you on my channels. On my channel, sorry. <laughs> so really, thank you very much for taking the time for me to interview you on, to view you on my channel. Little Shy F.I.M. and Tootsie Roll 2. And please subscribe to Little Shy F.I.M. He is fantastic. All those uh, CinemaSin type parodies of uh, all the My Little Pony episodes from seasons 1 to 5. Please do it because he is fantastic. He's also on Bronies React. So he's also very great on that. So please do that too. And please subscribe to his channel as well. Please do. And also, thank you, Alex Davidson. He's also the one of the co-organizers of Bernie's NYC and PonyCon. Please, he was so good. He's very nice. And I do thank you very much for taking your time out of my day. I mean, out of your day. Sorry, I don't know what I'm thinking. Sorry, I'm getting confused. Out of your day for me to interview you. I actually really appreciate that. that and, and guys, please give a round of applause for him. And everyone else I interview too. And last but not least... My good other friend, Officialized Chris. Thank you very much, dude, for letting me interview you on my channel. Thanks for taking the time for me to interview you. Um, and I hope all of you guys who are mentioning in this video are watching this video. Because 
If you don't know, or maybe you do know, I really appreciate it. You guys made my year. All of you. All of you made my 2015. Thank you for making my 2015 a memorable year. Thank you. I really appreciate everything that everyone who I interviewed, everyone who subscribed to me on YouTube, everyone who watched all my videos, of all my reviews, of all my interviews, all my stupid ass random videos, <laughs> and also um, my uh, brand new thing I'm going to be doing on my YouTube channel is blind reactions. Even though I haven't been doing really any. So yeah, sorry. <laughs> I've just been doing other things instead, like unboxing videos and the stuff. So expect more unboxing videos next year. And also more DVD reviews and CD reviews. And also more, like, stupid-ass random videos. <laughs> more of those funny ones. And yeah, so, um, and also, I gotta say, for now, for the conventions, I went to PonyCon this year. I went to BronyCon. And I went to Liberty City Anime Con. And I went to Monster Mania 2015. So yeah, that was fucking awesome. A lot of great conventions this year I went to in 2015. And also I was very glad to meet Ray and Lawrence there at um, Liberty City Anime Con. So glad to see you guys again. I was happy to see you too again. And um, also, not just that, also thank you very much um, for everyone who worked at PonyCon, at BronyCon, at Liberty City Anime Con. And also at Monster Mania. Because PonyCon and BronyCon made my 2015 as well. Because those two were my first ever Brony conventions I've ever gone to. Since, like, ever. Like, ever since I started joining the fandom back in 2013. I finally actually had a chance to actually go to the conventions. I finally had a chance to go to PonyCon and BronyCon. And thank you everyone at Bronies NYC. Finally was able to join a meetup group that actually loved the show. I was able to watch all the episodes from season 5. It was fantastic. I went to the beginning of season 5 premiere. At, at a long time ago, back when season 5 first started, I went to the season 5 premiere party. All the way to the Thanksgiving party that ends season, season 5. So I, apparently I was with the group from the beginning of season 5 to the end of season 5. And that was fantastic. I loved it. I'm very happy to know that I'm actually a part of a Bernie community group that I go to a lot and I just love going. It is the best thing I can do in my life. I love it. I fucking love it. And not just that. I also want to say, I also want to say also not just that. I want to also thank the concerts I went to. I went to see Lamb of God. I went to go see Death Clock. And I went to go see Rings of Saturn. Actually, and the Faceless at that one concert. So I think it's three concerts. I'm trying to remember. Hold on. Did I go to any concerts? Oh, no. I think that's at three concerts. I went to see Rings of Saturn and the Faceless. And I went to go see Death Clock. And I went to see Lamb of God. The best one out of all those three would be number one. It's obvious. You guys probably know. Death Clock. <laughs> yeah. Death Clock concert was fantastic. It was the best concert I've ever been to in my entire fucking life. Like, the Doomstar Requiem. I saw the whole entire Metalocalypse, the Doomstar Requiem concert performed live. And after they finished done with the Doomstar Requiem part, like after they played the whole opera, they played some other songs from Death Clock. They played um, Ghost Queen, which I was like, yes! Fucking love that song. They played... Go into the water. And also they played, um, well, all the original Death Clock classics. And I was like, this concert just got 20% cooler. That's why the Death Clock concert was the best. I was like, I got VIP, by the way. So I was like, right in front. So I was able to see everything front, which was absolutely fucking fantastic. That's why it was considered to be the best concert I've ever went to in 2015. Death Clock made my 2015. Death Clock, May 2015. It was fantastic. Fucking fantastic. I really am so happy to actually know I went to see them. Lamb of God, I saw them too. Me and my good friend Joe, we both went to go see um, Lamb of God live at Jonas Beach. It was fucking fantastic, by the way. 
Like we, got, I got some really good seats. I was so happy to actually know I went to go see Lamb of God. It was the first concert I ever went to to go see Lamb of God. It was totally worth it, by the way. And also, Wings of Saturn. I was so happy to see Wings of Saturn again for the third time. Saw the new material. Saw the new guitarist. Um, Miles Dimitri Baker got a chance to talk to him. Got his autograph. <laughs> and also, um, let me think of Also, like, um, I also saw The Faceless there, too, as well. That was, like, my first time that two of my favorite bands played in one concert. That was fantastic, too. So I saw Death Clock at the Highline Ballroom. I saw Lamb of God at Jones Beach. And I saw the Wings of Saturn at Webster Hall. So yeah, I gotta say, what a year for interviews, concerts, and friends. I gotta say, what 2015 blew my mind. And also conventions as well. Sorry, I forgot about that. So yeah, 2015 was one big explosion of fun. Like, really, what a fantastic year. If you guys don't know, actually, I'll show you some. I, if you guys didn't see my new unboxing video, I uh, got Fluttershy in the mail today. Oh, she's so cute. Aww. Can't wait to get put her on my uh, bed where the rest of the main six are so I, can so I can say, yep, I finally did it. I completed my whole collection. I got all the main six ponies. She's so adorable. I love how they did her. Look at the fun. I love how they did her mane. Like, like I gotta say, they're so accurate. The tail, the um, the cutie mark. And I gotta say, I love it. This is so adorable. I love what they did to Fluttershy. It's so cute. <laughs> so yeah, about that. Everything else. Um. <clears throat> I also look forward to a lot. I'm looking forward to 2016 so I can do a lot more videos. I'm going to be going to a lot more concerts too. I'm going to be going to Gil, go see Defeated Sanity in a Lucky 13 bar, which I'm really looking forward to go see. And I'm going to go be seeing Cannibal Corpse. Yeah, in February. January is going to be Defeated Sanity. February is going to be Cannibal Corpse. And I'm like... Wow, two concerts for next year, already on the spot, wow. Defeated Sandy and Cannibal Corpse, wow. Two concerts in one year, in the beginning of 2016. Now that is going to be fun. Oh yeah, and by the way, I got VIP for Cannibal Corpse. So I'm going to be meeting the band, yeah. I'm going to be meeting Cannibal Corpse after the show. So yeah, that's going to be a great beginning of 2016. Can't wait. It's going to be great. So, yeah. So, yeah. That's all I really have to say. So, thank you all for such a fucking amazing 2015. And let's have a great fun 2016. Because everyone who I mentioned, I interviewed and made friends with. Everyone who I went to go see concerts. And everyone I went to go to conventions. Oops, me. I, I uh, loved it all. And I was so happy to actually see my hero, the one, the only, the one who inspired me to start playing guitar, love music, and be totally addicted to death metal, slam death metal, deathcore, and black metal. Who got me really into the whole metal Seeing the whole metal genre, understanding more metal music, buying metal guitars and CDs, like everything to do with metal music, Brendan Small. Yep, he is my liege. He is my god. He is my hero. He's the reason why I love music, and he's the reason why I love, love all this music. Because he's the one who inspired me to become a musician actually go out there and actually buy these guitars, sing, and actually do something with my life. I finally found out my true passion in life, and that's to play guitar and be brutal. And that's why number one band of mine is Death Clock. It will always be Death Clock. Death Clock will always be number one because they're the best, they're the most brutal and the most heaviest of any metal band I've ever listened to. 
And also, not just that, I got into 30 metal bands now. Yeah, 2015. 30 metal bands. That's fantastic. I went from just two from when I was back in 2014 to 30. That is fucking metal and crazy because that's how great it was. So, yeah. So, yeah, I'm all, so yeah, I'm all done. So, uh, yes, that was my thank you video for 2015 for oncoming to 2016. Let's have a fucking great 2016, guys. Let's make 2016 as brutal as ever. Let's make it fucking metal and fucking awesome. And don't forget, before I end this video, don't forget to subscribe to all those YouTube channels I told you about. Royal Dude Lorenzo. Meatloaf Man, The Fun Channel, Cheesy Noodles, Grace and Adams, Little Shy FIM, and Tootsie Roll 2. Please subscribe to all five of them because they are fantastic YouTubers, very smart, very creative, and just metal and awesome. And totally worth watching and totally worth subscribing to. So please do that. Please. I really would love for you to do that. So please do. So yeah, also I'm looking forward to more interviews in 2016. So yeah, that's it guys. That's all I have to say. So let's make 2016 as metal and brutal as ever. Let's fucking do it guys. Let's make 2016 metal. Let's make it pure fucking metal. Metal, metal, metal. Yeah, let's make it pure fucking metal. Let's do it. Let's make 2016 fucking metal. 2015 is about to end. 2015 was metal. But well, let's make 2016 now. That's coming even twice as metal. So yeah, let's, let's fucking do it. So yeah. So overall, guys, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. So keep it metal. Keep it brutal. Keep it awesome. And I hope to see you guys soon in 2016. See you guys. Guess what? I'm not going to be making any more videos now until 2016. So guess what, guys? New videos coming up in 2016. Look forward to making new videos in 2016. So, yeah, this is my last video I will ever be making in 2015. So brand new videos will be coming up in 2016. So, yep. So, yep, guys. Keep it metal. Keep it brutal. Keep it awesome, and I'll see you guys all soon next year. See you guys next year, and yeah, just that's it. See you guys next year, and yep, always, just like I said, make 2016 metal, and see you guys all next year. Goodbye. Love you all.